Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim My name is Dr. Abdul Adamu from Data Analytica. In this lecture series, we are going to look at research and everything that has to do with research. I'm going to start with what is research, the basic. Research is the systematic investigation into and study of materials and sources to establish facts and reach new conclusions. It is a structured way of thinking and creating new knowledge. Research, they say, is systematic. By systematic, it means following an orderly and sequential procedure. The researcher could not proceed with the method before he or she has a research problem in mind. So, research is systematic. First, you start with a research problem, and after research problem, you think about the research design, things about data collection until the end. So, you cannot start research with, without having the research problem. So, the ultimate goal of research is to create new knowledge and also to get better understanding of a topic or a phenomenon. Another definition is that research is the exploration and analysis of information with the goal of discovering new facts, relationship and insight. The result of research can be used to inform decision making and improve the understanding of different phenomena. This definition shows that research is rigorous. Rigorous we mean Procedures are relevant, appropriate, and justified. It is structured and systematic. It means it follows a logical sequence. It is critical, that is, is free from drawback. It is empirical. It means the conclusions are based on evidence from the few. Also analytical, and it's used to generate new insight and develop new knowledge. Are the steps that we using research. Like we stated earlier, we said research is systematic. So the first step is you identify the research problem that you wish to study. It involves selecting a topic and defining the research questions or hypothesis. Second step is plan the research. The next step you select the appropriate research design, identify your sources of data, and develop your sampling strategy. The third step is you collect your data. So once you have your design, you collect and analyze the data using the various statistical and data analysis method. The final step, you communicate your finding. This is where you have your research report and you use it to communicate the research finding through various channels such as publication, a reputable journal, presentation in conferences and seminar, or you have a report if you have written a dissertation or thesis. Depending on the angle you are looking at it from, we have different types of research. The first one, the basic research, which is also known as the pure research. Those research conducted to increase knowledge in order to understand the subject matter, a particular subject. The objective is not application or it is not used for commercial. It is basically conducted to develop theories or models or it can be curiosity driving or exploratory in nature. For applied research, the objective is basically to solve practical problems or to address particular issues. The findings for applied research are normally implemented to improve real-world situations. They are normally commissioned by government, industries, or agencies, and they help to address societal challenges. Then we have quantitative research, which involves collection of numerical data. That is why we say it's quantitative research. They can be analyzed using statistical methods. We have qualitative research, which uses non-numerical data such as word, images, observation to analyze a phenomenon. We have the mixed methods, which combine both qualitative and quantitative research methods, and it collect and analyze both numerical and non-numerical method. Basically, for mixed method research. It involves 
three steps. The first step is the design. You develop research plan. The second one is the data collection stage. And the last one is the analysis where you integrate both the numerical and non-numerical method. Then we have descriptive method. For descriptive method, it's aimed to describe the characteristics or behavior of a population, provide a detailed or accurate account of a phenomenon, and data collection basically in this research method is through survey, observation, and interview. The research design basically is either cross-sectional or longitudinal, and it provides answers to questions related to prevalence or incidence of a particular phenomenon. For instance, if there is prevalence, incidence of a disease, or the insecurity as we have in the northeastern part of Nigeria. Then we have experimental research, which is a type of research that manipulates one or more independent variable to observe their effect on the dependent variable. Then we have observational research, which involves the collection of data without interfering with the phenomenon being studied. So it could be participant observation or non-participant. Why research is important? First reason why research is important is to develop and advance knowledge. Second reason is to inform decision making. Research can help organizations make informed decisions by providing objective and reliable information. And finally is to improve the quality of life through research in healthcare and medicine. We see improvement in the quality of life of patients by developing better treatment and therapies. The process of research, we have uh, basically seven processes. In some textbooks, we see eight processes. So the steps are, the first thing is we identify research problem or question that you are seeking for answer to. Then the second step is you review relevant literature. So before you start the research, review literature to build the foundation of knowledge and determine what gap exists in the current research. So you look at the research that were done previously in the problem you have identified. This will give you a foundation for your research. The third step is develop research questions or hypotheses. So use the research problem to develop a clear and specific research question or hypothesis. Then select your research design, switch a research design that suits the research questions such as observational, experimental, or comparative. Then the fifth step is you collect and analyze the data. After you have done all the, you now collect data using viable method and analyze the results statistically to draw conclusions. The sixth step is you interpret your finding. After the analysis, you now interpret your finding in the context of your research questions or hypothesis. Then finally, you communicate your result. Share the finding of the result with your intended audience, either by publishing it in a, a peer review journal or reports, dissertation or thesis, or you do presentation in conferences and seminars. Some common methods in research, there are different methods, they include survey, Survey are efficient way to collect data from data from a large number of people, usually through online questionnaire or phone interview. Uh, interview allow researchers to gather in-depth information by questioning part participant directly. Then we have observation. By observation, the researcher will observe the respondent, record his observation without interfering with the Responded. Then focus group is also a method which involves group discussion, in-depth analysis of a topic and by putting small group of people and it normally provides a rich and detailed data. Then we have case studies. With case studies, it involves investigating a particular situation in depth. That is in-depth analysis of an individual, group, organization or event. You take those organizations and look at it in depth. Then we have experimental design which involves manipulation of one or more independent variables to know their effect on dependent variables. 
which involve establishing cause and effect relationship between variables. So we have different type pre experimental design, true experimental design, and quasi experimental design. Then we have content analysis has to do with analyzing textual, audio, visual materials to identify patterns, theme, and other meaningful information. They are normally used to analyze news articles, social media posts, speeches, and transcript of interview. Have a meta analysis which have deal with the statistical analysis of data from multiple independent studies to synthesize their findings and draw conclusions. The aim basically is to provide quantitative summary of results from a set of studies. So these are the common methods used in research. So finally, we we'll look at ethical consideration in research. So research must be conducted ethically and with ethical integrity. So when conducting research, some of the considerations are you obtain informed consent from participants. Get the consent of your participants before you take their information. Maintain confidentiality and privacy. Whatever information you get from your participant or respondent, keep it private. Then minimize harm to participants. Avoid conflict of interest. Whatever research you are doing, it should not conflict with your interest. It should be objective as much as possible. Ensure that the research is conducted in a fair and impartial way. So this is what is research. In the next lecture, we are going to look at how you can come up with your research topic. Thereafter, we will look at how we can formulate research problems. If you enjoyed this lecture, I encourage you to go to our YouTube channel, uh, subscribe to the channel and like our videos, provide comments on where we can improve on the video. So thank you for listening. Mm -hmm.